Hi, I'm Alex Jordan from Long Color Grading and Filmsimplified.com and today we're going to be taking a look at three tricks that you can use with AutoColor that will make your life much easier. However, we're going to be trying to do this as fast as possible. Let's start. So let's start by taking a look at this image. I can simply correct it by hitting the auto button and now we just corrected the image. However, notice something very important. Even though AutoColor did a great job, the image is still a bit oversaturated and it doesn't look very natural. What's the solution? Simply, this is the result of AutoColor. I'll right click, select grab still, and now I have this still that was created here that remembers the colors of this image as they are now. Now let's reset and take a look at a different way. I'll reset and now I'll simply go to color, nodes, and add a splitter combiner node and note that I have three nodes created here each node represents a channel so this node is the red channel this node is the green channel and this node is the blue channel so now I will be repeating auto color again however per channel so I'll select the first node that represents red hit auto color then I'll select the node that represents the green channel auto color again finally the blue channel and auto color so we performed auto color per channel and notice that the image now looks way more natural than the one that we performed earlier the one where we did not auto correct per channel. So now I'll simply compare the colors in this image with the colors coming from the still. I'll double click on the still and notice the difference in colors. Focus on the colors here, the colors here, and the saturation at this part while I compare both images. So this image is the one we performed a bit earlier where we used auto color on a single node. However, I'll drag this line here and notice that the image looks way more natural. The colors are more balanced and there is less saturation. So before, after, before, after. So that was the first trick. Let's take a look at another one. Let's take a look at this image. So this image moves from this part to this part. Note that I mapped the auto color effect to a keyboard button so that I can perform auto color right from the edit tab without needing to visit the color page. Now, if you take a look at this image, for example, I'll come to this frame in the beginning. So note that in this frame, we have this guy and we have some buildings here. And now I'll simply hit one button and now I just added auto color to the image. Great. Now, the colors works for this frame. However, once we move to the end of the clip, notice something important. We lost all information in this part and the image looks way darker than it should be. Well, that's because AutoColor uses one frame as a reference. And in the beginning, we used a frame from the beginning of the clip where the sky was visible. So AutoColor simply corrected the image based on the brightness of the first frame. However, while the playhead is on top of this frame, I'll perform AutoColor again and note that the colors look different. And now we have a lot of the information in this part back. So what's the solution? Here you might be tempted to use keyframes in order to work with auto color. However, uh, for the most part that won't work and there is a much easier, simpler, faster way. Now, this is the length of the clip. What I can do is to simply cut this clip in half where I will be using auto color twice. So the latter part of the clip, which is a bit darker, will be auto corrected in a certain way. And the first part of the clip will be corrected in a different way. So I'll simply place the playhead here and I will cut the clip in half. Then I will place the playhead at this frame and perform auto color. Notice that we have the same colors because it was already corrected for this clip then I will move the playhead to the beginning of the clip and take a look at the colors now once I add auto color they were corrected in a different way great however we have this problem here notice that once the playhead crosses this line the colors change entirely take a look at the clip here once I play and the colors change abruptly so what's the solution cross dissolve it's as simple as that I'll simply go to the effects library drag a cross dissolve effect to this part here make it really long and now we have this cross dissolve effect which will simply blend this part with this part in the image and now once I play notice that the colors will change gradually so let's play here and notice that the colors are changing gradually and most people will not notice that the colors have changed and this will make your work much easier and faster and let's take a look at one last trick auto color simply corrects the colors but it also corrects the exposure of the image but what if you just like the colors what if you just wanted auto color to correct the uh, exposure of the image without actually correcting the colors you did not want it to add any color cast for example let's take a look at this image i'll click here and we just added an auto color effect so i'll right click grab still and again we have a still here that remembers the colors of this image at this time great and now in this node so this is the first node that is affecting the image i'll simply reduce saturation all the way so now i just ended with a black and white image then i'll add a new node after that so option s and now i have a new node now 
I'll select the new node and now I will hit auto color. So this node sees the image as a black and white image because it was received as black and white from the image right before it. This means that the auto color effect will only correct for exposure changes, but it will not affect the colors. Then I will simply select the first image. So the node where we remove the saturation and I'll simply hit backspace to delete it. And now take a look at the image. Again, we will be comparing the colors from this image with the colors from the one we performed a bit earlier. So I'll double click and notice a difference. Notice that the first image had a blue cast. Take a look at these parts here once I compare both images. So the colors here don't look very natural. They have a blue cast. However, with the one I removed saturation, the image looks way more natural. Again, before, after, before, after. Well, that's because auto color tries to guess the colors of the image, you know, based on context, but sometimes it doesn't get it right. However, for the most part, it always gets exposure correctly. So this way you can use uh, the auto color just to balance the exposure of the image without affecting its colors at all. And this will allow you to tweak the colors later the way you want. So I hope this was helpful. If you like this, please visit us at filmsimplified.com where you can join our free DaVinci Resolve Crash Course that is designed for the absolute beginner and takes you through every tab in Resolve. Thank you. Filmsimplified.com 